When posting resources for the students for a course, you can also add web pages to your course. To add a web page, simply click on Add an Activity and then choose under Resources, choose Page. Click on Add. And then next, we are going to give a name to this page. Now, in here, we can type, you can leave the description a blank unless you want to post it on the course front page. And then under the page content, you can type the content of your web page directly from here. Or you can click, so it's say your computer. You can also click on this uh, button on the top right hand side, the toggle full screen mode. This will give you a chance so that you can modify and customize this further. And uh, then from here, basically we are typing the whole lecture. So the advantage of a web page is that you're, you don't have to save something in Microsoft Word and then uh, save it and upload it and all that type of thing. You're posting everything directly into an HTML page and it will uh, be opened automatically or it will be easily openable and accessible from any type of device out there. So uh, in here you could basically type all your lecture notes directly online. You, get, uh, you can insert images and by clicking on the insert picture there then you can choose wherever your pictures are choose upload and um, you're basically formatting this and posting this directly for the students online once you're done with the editing notice there are all kinds of different functions here click on the toggle full screen that will bring it down and then click on save and return to the course now notice computer components is posted and here is our page available for the students. Okay, so those were the different types of resources that you can post for the students. Uh, remember also you can do videos, uh, you can also do podcasts. A podcast it's uh, exactly the same process as basically you record the sound file on your iPhone or a smartphone device and then save that sound file and post it on e-learning using the process either by dragging and dropping it on the course page or by uploading it as an, a file by choosing the file option under resources here.